NASCAR's Aero Warriors of 1969 and 1970 are some of the most prized collectible muscle cars these days. But back in the day, they were produced in few numbers just for homologation purposes, and they even languished on dealer lots back then. But now, they are here, assembled in numbers. Wings over America here at McCacken 2022. Let's take a look around at some of these Dodge Chargers and Plymouth Superbirds. The display was divided between Plymouth's on the left and Dodge Charger Daytona's on the right. Of the few thousand cars produced by Dodge and Plymouth between 1969 and 1970, these represented around 23 examples, including one-offs and firsts, like this, the first prototype 1969 Daytona. Or this 69 Charger Daytona, purported to be the last unrestored hemi-automatic on the planet. It even wears its original tires and full hubcaps. Now, I'm not a Mopar guy, and these cars were all built before my time, but in the years I've been in the car hobby, I've never seen these cars wear full hubcaps. Dog dishes, yes, but usually they're wearing rally wheels or Magnum 500s. And then there's this wheel, which I don't think I've ever seen on any wing car. McCacken, for sure, is a great classroom to learn. Take this 70 Superbird that claims to be the world's only black Plymouth wing car. It left the factory in one of the seven colors offered by the manufacturer, Lemon Twist, but was repainted years later. So while not a factory black car, it evidently is the only black Superbird in existence. When one thinks about the racing pedigree of these cars, the mind conjures images of NASCAR competition on the high banks of Daytona and Talladega. But here's a Superbird that raced on the drag strip in 1970. It wears its period custom metal flake paint scheme with matching open face helmet. And the 2,000 miles on the odometer were all collected a quarter mile at a time. This Alpine white Plymouth Superbird was signed by the king himself. It even wears one of his trademark hats. And how about this land speed record holder from the Bonneville Salt Flats? This Plymouth Superbird clocked 217 miles per hour in 1975. Wings Over America was one of about two dozen invitational displays at McCacken 2022, and each one of the cars in each display could be a marquee attraction at any car show. The Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals is truly the all-star game of car shows for rare muscle cars, Corvettes, and other classics. Well, that's a wrap on another edition of Car Show Life here from McCacken 2022. Make sure you're subscribed to our video channel here for more Car Show Life content and share with us how you live the Car Show Life on Facebook and Instagram at Car Show Life back in Hood Up. I'm Drake Donovan. Thanks for watching.